What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if you're interested in what to get on Amazon Prime Day, consider a vacuum buy. These are really useful devices around your house, especially if you're a busy person. This one actually had for about a year, over a year, this uh, is a D-Bot N78. This is great on hardwood floors and tile, picks up a lot of dust, dirt, debris, cat hair, stuff like that. Um, this one, pretty good on hardwood floors, but when it comes to carpet, it doesn't have that center rotating brush like a push vacuum has. The N79 SD bot does. This thing sucks incredibly. Like, like for a vacuum, that's good. Like that, it sucks. This one is far superior over the N78. Big upgrades. This one actually has a mop feature where you gotta attach a mop and clean up um, stains on your floor, which is great. So you basically put all the water in this reservoir right here and that fills up and then you close it and put this washable microfiber cloth on here this is um, easy to clean you just throw it in the washing machine line up the pegs just like that here's something I spilled I spilled some sauce on the floor this is pretty normal occurrence if you're cooking so let's go ahead and see if this works And you spin it around, and you run it through again, just to clean up the excess. I mean, sure, you could get like, you know, Windex and paper towel and, and clean it just as fast, but it, this is really convenient to have, and it's cool. For any stains that are uh, dried up, it does have to pass through maybe three or four times before it actually cleans it. And it looks like it picked it up right at the very end. All right, let's see which one sucks better. So. I'm going to start with the N79S. All right, and next we're going to start with the N78S. All right, so as you can see right here that it is in there. You see the leaves? Let's check out this one and see if it sucked it up into the container. So it looks like doesn't look like any leaves are on the bottom, so it has to be in the container, right? And yeah, they're in there. See? Oh, and a couple of leaves fell out right here. I didn't notice. They both did a pretty good job cleaning up, um, you know, the leaves off the floor. But uh, let's go ahead and check the carpet feature and see which one sucks better on the carpet. So this is the N78, let's try that. And right there it gets caught, it's stuck right there. So it's not a rug vacuum too much. There's a thick carpet too. This carpet is not tacked down. There's no double-sided tape on the carpet. Now some carpets, you, know, you may have to put double-sided tape in because it may get caught up in the, on the vacuum. All right, so let's go this one. And this one climbs up really easily and it does a great job vacuuming the rug. And even on the corners of the carpet where most people complain that their, their um, oral bot vacuums get stuck, this vacuum bot does not. And so as we look into the container, look at that. Look all that cat hair picked up from the rug. And you know, I don't see any cat hair on the rug, but apparently I have cat hair on the on the rug. I know, but the D-Bot N78 really is a great you know, broom and dustpan cleaner. I, I still think it's worth its money, um, but as of um, a vacuum that you know sucks up dirt from the carpet, that's where you want to go for the N79S. That's where this one is far su superior over the N78. Now the N78 is the older model from last year. N79S is not a mop. Um, doesn't have that feature. They took away that feature and really upgraded the vacuum feature. They both have remotes. They both could be scheduled at a certain times during the day to um, go off and clean. The Diva N78 is a lot bulkier and taller, so it doesn't really get into all those smaller spots like the N79S will get into. Uh, this one sometimes gets stuck under my couch. Uh, this, uh, the N78 sometimes gets caught up on cables, like a charging cable 
or a shoe, a loose carpet. Uh, most vacuum bots actually have that where it gets stuck. And it has the two side brushes right here. This actual side brush actually blocks one of the charging pads. They redesigned that um, in the upgraded model, the N79S. The brushes are more spread apart where it doesn't block the charging pads and the charging pads are actually bigger than the N79S. The wheels are improved on N79. They upgraded the vacuum suction uh, port. This one also has a collision detector sensors, but um, I would say 50% of the time it uses this bumper and bumps into things and backs up and you know turns around. It does have a rubber bumper, so it doesn't harm your furniture. And this one also flashes red when it gets you know stuck or in trouble. And you just pick it up and sometimes it gets, you know, maybe a cable gets tingled up in the wheel. And the remote is easy to use. You got start and stop button, uh, forward, and then back. Uh, you press this button, it'll dock itself actually. And it fairly, it does a fairly good job finding the dock and charging itself. Sometimes I have to reset it by turning off the unit waiting a couple seconds and turning it back on or removing the battery and disconnecting the battery for about like 30 seconds. The N79S is far superior over the N78. Even though the N78 does a great job dusting the house, you know, acting like a broom and dustpan does a great job doing that kind of stuff. But when it comes to like cleaning carpets and, and hardwood floors, I would go for the D-Bot N79S. This is far superior and it connects via Wi-Fi to a smart app or to your Amazon Echo. And it flashes red also when it gets in trouble. So you might have to like clean, you know, clean out the um, brushes on the side. It might get tingled up on something. Also the center brush might get tingled up on like a, you know, charging cable. This one is far slimmer and smaller, so it gets into really tight spots. Uh, for me, it gets under the couch, which is really awesome. You can see how much bigger the N78 is. It's wider and taller. The collision sensors, of course, on the N79S are better and more responsive, but it, yes, they still have that bumper feature where it bumps into things and backs up and turns around. And it has that rubber bumper just like the N78 does, where it doesn't harm your furniture. Bigger charging pads, better positions on the brushes that don't block the charging pad. And the brush is rotating, so it really picks up cat hair, amazing, and it does a really great job you know, sucking into this inlet. The vacuum feature is stronger and it picks up more debris. And it's easy to clean. You just remove this and remove that. They're pretty much the same in my opinion. This one might be slightly bigger and open it up and you can see, I just cleaned it out, but there's like three filters, just like the other one, the, M78, the N78 actually has three filters as well. You got one, two, and then three. Uh, some people rinse it underwater, but um, I tend not to do that because sometimes it collects bacteria when you do that. So you make sure you dry it completely before you put it all back together. And don't bang this on concrete because it's plastic and will damage some of the plastic parts. But this is really easy to use and a lot cheaper than the iRobot um, Roomba. On the N78, you open up the container, you have the cleaning tool, um, really easy, nice area to put this uh, cleaning tool in so you don't lose it. Uh, to clean it out, you just remove this right here. This is the container. A little bit smaller, but it looks a little bit smaller than the N79S. You open it up and you just dump it in the garbage can. There's one filter right here you have to clean. And then, you know, there's a filter right here. And then peel this back. And then there's a, now that filter underneath. When it comes to cleaning, they're both fairly easy to clean. Um, I had this over a year, no problem so far. I did have to reset the unit by just simply turning it off and on. But what I really like about the N79S is that it works with the Amazon Echo. Um, as of right now, I didn't hook it up to the Google Home. D-Bots do work with the Google Home, but I'm not sure about the N79S. Um, I tried to uh, hook it up to the Google Home and it wasn't, it wasn't responding, but the Amazon Echo, for some reason, it connected really easily. I just asked uh, Amazon to enable that skill, but you don't even need the Amazon Echo really. I just like a cool feature that it has. The, the remote really is very intuitive. It doesn't work with the N78, but it, um, the Amazon Echo does work with the N79S. Alexa, ask DBot to start vacuuming. 
So it's pretty cool. Even if you want the D-Bond N79S to go back home, you can hit the home button on the remote, or you can ask the Amazon Echo to send um, the D-Bot back to the charging station. Alexa, ask D-Bot to start charging. Okay, now your D-Bot is charging. All right, so and then it will find its way back to the charging station. There's LEDs right here to so make sure this is in um, the docking station it is in an open spot where it can detect the LEDs that are in the charging station. And it, it finds its way back eventually, probably takes maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. But if the um, battery lasts long enough, it'll find its way back. Both of these um, pretty much last around anywhere between 80 to 100 minutes of runtime, depending on if you have it on low or high speed. Um, this one only has one speed, one setting. This one actually has a max mode where you can really uh, clean your carpet. But uh, if you want to download the app, it's called EgoVax and it tells you the battery life on the N79S and it tells you the standby mode. It tells you if it's offline or online. You want to make sure your phone wi you want to make sure your phone Wi-Fi is turned on and is on the same network as the D-Bot and you can actually uh, navigate it. Right there and then you can send it back home, recharge. When you hit spot, it really uh, turns on the max mode and then auto, you can set it in max mode as well. Edge, it goes around the outer edge of your room. Spot cleaning, which I discussed earlier, um, focuses on a, mainly like a four by four area. So if you wanna schedule your cleanings, you can click on that three dots right here and cleaning schedule. I have mine set at 1 p.m. Vacuum power, I have it set to max. So it really cleans the rugs good. And you also has a find D-Bot. So if it gets stuck under a bed or something, you can just press that and it'll chirp. And if you wanna schedule um, a cleaning, you can press the bell button to schedule a cleaning. And then use the up and down arrows to set it and hit start to save it. The N79S does also have a cleaning tool, but there's no place to put it, to store it, just like the, you know, the N78 has an actual spot where you can store this cleaning brush. So I'm worried about if I, I might lose it eventually. It does do a good job cleaning the brushes. So sometimes I get a lot of pet hair, right here caught up in the brush. So it has this razor built in right here. You see that? And then you just run it like that the slice through the cut, um, the cat hair or the dog hair. And I use this tool to clean the filters. If you guys are uh, concerned about it falling down the stairs, it does have sensors for that, as well as collision sensors. And see, as you can tell, they're not falling. So if you're interested in these products, I'll leave links in the video description below. Those links support the channel. And if you know anyone that may be interested in a vacuum bot, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out my other tech reviews and tutorials, check out my playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.